The geometric transforms are used to translate, scale, and rotate an image. Um, there are a number of preset ones at the top of the geometric menu, uh, but the general transforms are on the uh, tabbed geometric transform window. Now let's take a look at how these work. The translate has these fast buttons that moves the image in the direction that you press the arrow and by the amount that you specify there. There's whole pixels and there's partial pixels, tenth of a pixel, twentieth of a pixel. Very small movements there. Um, you can also use uh, the, the undo and redo buttons to uh, either cancel or, or redo the, uh, the transform. If you want to use the mouse to move the, the image around, you can check the select with mouse. Move from is what I'm going to check. So maybe I want to move this point to from here over to, let's say, here. Um, things of that type. It's the general trans translate transform. You could use this to align images, but it'd be very very time consuming. It's for small adjustments of a particular image. Um, let's undo that. Now the scale, it works, uh, it changes the scale of the image. I can use it to double the size, changing the factor from 1 to 2. It'll double the size of the image. Or if you have a large image from a full size sensor and you want to scale it down for use in printing or on the internet you can multiply it by uh, 0.5 or a smaller factor to reduce its size down to whatever you want. Okay, it's generally how uh, scale works, it just changes the size of the image. If factor is selected then whatever factor you enter here it either increases or decreases the size of the image. Dimension allows you to specify a particular dimension. If preserve aspect ratio is not checked, then you could really skew the image in width or height. Uh, so uh, that's probably not used very much, but in some of the older sensors uh, where the width of the pixel was greater than its height, you could use that to correct the distortion. But that's not used much anymore, I don't believe. Uh, okay, rotate. Let's see. Here you have the fast rotate buttons that are the default is rotate about the center. So you can rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise by a preset number of degrees or fractional degree. Um, you can add a border so that you can rotate this image 360 degrees and not clip any of it. Uh, let's see, let's rotate by 15 degrees. See, and this edge won't be clipped here. You could take, uh, let's undo that. You could take and select a point to rotate it about. Uh, how about this point again? So I selected with the mouse the rotate about point, and I want to rotate from, let's say, this point to this point. So that'll rotate it counterclockwise, so oh, about 20 degrees. Press apply. Okay. That's how the general geometric transforms work. Now they're tracked by process history. Uh, here's the read. Here are the scale changes. A little bit of a rotate, add border, rotate. Uh, these are some commands that are been outdated. These are the earlier commands that we inserted the later ones into the list uh, after they were done. But Again, the geometric transforms, translate, scale, rotate, are tracked by the, the process history, and you can 
undo those changes just by stepping back this way or using uh, these buttons.